so I played the demo. You did okay. Anybody in chat who tried the demo, let me know if you tried it. Um, but I I tried the demo, and what I will say at the outset, it's a pretty looking game. Like this is pretty. What I will say is that they seem to use a lot of the same techniques that are typical for like Square Enix productions, like the the Final Fantasy VII remake and stuff. So it's like kind of blurry and pixelated and grainy at parts. And also the world is big, but feels very, very empty. So they set up this whole thing where she's like in the regular world and then something happens. You see what I mean? Like in the distance, you'll see a bunch of weird artifacting. It's just odd. And it's also like particle effect. Uh, I call it particle effect fetishism because it's just like, oh, how do we make this shot interesting? Particle effects. Just put like a bunch of sparks. That'll be cool. That's all we need. That'll do it. And I just don't think that that's enough. Also, what is this song? So the only parts of this that look moderately interesting to me are like that bit with the big dragon. Big scary dragon boy. None of that's really in the demo. They offer a couple of boss fights that you can engage with if you want, but that's it. They give you a brief uh, combat tutorial. You'll notice what I mean with like particle effect fetishism here. None of the enemies are very interesting. They just kind of stand around and wait to be killed by you. I didn't think the combat was very good. I ended up spamming this one set of magic with this one ability with this spear thing because nothing even came close to its effectiveness. Um, you run around. I completed this trial where you have to defend these people from waves of enemies, but the waves of enemies wouldn't come for like 10 to 20 seconds in between each round. So you see how long that took to trigger? It was just weird. And then I throw this spear. Look, it sticks him. It has a, an AOE effect. Stick him. AOE. There's like very little reason to use any other magic until they get close. And then when they get close, you can swap it up. Yeah. So combat's really unengaging. There's this bit where you can like explore and do stuff. I was trying to figure out how to jump up there. The map itself is like really boring. Like, see, I found this area and there's a chest. So I looked up at the chest, but the chest is locked and it's locked because there are enemies around. So I proceeded to spend like 10 minutes clearing out all of these enemies, all these purple dots. Those are purple dots above enemies heads. So I spent like 10 minutes clearing out all these hordes, including the flying beastie boys. And finally, when all was said and done, I, I finished them out and then I got the, the crate and like nothing interesting is inside of it. I open it. Oh, there's one more. I think there's like one more I found. Or did I give up? Is there really? Oh, after all, that's what it was. After all that, that didn't open the chest. You still can't get into it. Can't travel past that point. So I was like, oh, screw this. I did all that seemingly for nothing. So I just move on. Free running is also dumbed down like in Valhalla. You just hold down circle and point the left stick somewhere. And that's it. She also has a, a nasty case of never shut the hell up itis. Just like constantly. Wow, I'm good at this. Wow. Here's the first mini boss fight. You're not joking, are you? Joking about what? You're not joking, are you? What? It's like, what are you talking about? Shut up. At least, like, Geralt's dynamic lines in The Witcher 3 make sense in the context of it. Like, he'll get hit and he's, he'll say, that didn't feel good or something. But in this game, she just randomly starts talking about bullcrap like, oh, you're j not joking, are you? It's like, what, what are you talking about? Shut up. I, I don't care. Her bracelet also never shuts up. But eventually, I beat the thing to death. And that's the fight. 
considered. I'd be insulted, but I'm a little surprised myself. The dialogue for the bracelet plays through the PS5 controller, so it's not captured when you record it, which is kind of an oopsie, but I don't really know how to fix it, so. Um, and then at the end of the demo, you get access to another boss battle, Altered Quinquana. Queen Kana. And this was like hilariously easy. Like, did not struggle at all. You one ability flips him over, the other ability deals damage, and then you can just repeat him. Like, I just don't get what the game is supposed to be. Nikki came up, sat next to me, and was just like, Well, this looks boring. And I was like, Yeah. So you just did all that. I didn't take any damage from that spin around. I can just hug that booty. And I don't take any damage. It's just like a total joke of a fight. And this was how they decided to end the, the demo. Like, this is how it finishes. Still better combat than Death Stranding, but that's not saying much. I just like don't get what the thing is. Thank you for playing. I seriously don't understand what this game is supposed to be or why I'm supposed to want to play it. Because none of this is interesting. Like you're just running through open fields past enemies i don't know i appreciate the demo i'm glad that they did a demo i think that that's great you know they're willing to show people so that they can make an informed decision but i would guess it's probably because they're having trouble defining and describing to people why they should be interested in the game and so they're like well we'll just do a demo and let people play it and then they'll see that it's really good but then the problem is people play it and they're like ah eh, no i'm good but like honestly i i was not interested in this before i tried the demo and now i'm sure that i'm not interested and i think that's true of a lot of people it's just like yeah yeah i'm good i'm good i think they're depending on the fan base to fill out the excitements and reasons to play part it's just like the best thing about todd howard is that todd howard can describe easily why you should want to play starfield or skyrim or, or fallout or any of these but the team with this game feel it seems like they're totally incapable of describing why anybody should give a crap. And that's a that's a problem. I mean, because your game should be built on a few basic ideas that you can pitch to people that makes them want to play it. And if you can't even put into words why you should try it, I don't know. Billiam, I played the demo for eight hours and now I'm super pumped for the game. Kind of Final Fantasy meets Devil May Cry for me. I would say that that's probably a fair crossover. My I, I'd say for the Final Fantasy comparison, I see like the engine similarities, the artistic similarities and stuff like that. Um, but my big question is narrative. Like, is the narrative going to be the thing that greases over everything else? Is it the thing that smooths out the edges and motivates me to play? Because right now I'll just be real. The gameplay would not be enough to keep me going. Like I, I wouldn't be motivated to finish the game if it were just this, you know? Ooh. Um, so I think that that's most of it. Like, I just, I don't find this compelling enough to finish it. You can also customize fingernails. I'm not joking. Um, so I don't know. He took my thing.